Sandra Timothy, North Miami's District 2 Councilwoman. And for Black History Month, we're highlighting Black-owned businesses, Black-owned products, and Black-owned restaurants right here in the city of North Miami. And today we're here with Andrea at Treats and Beads. So thank you so much for having us today. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So tell me about yourself. What made you open up Treats and Beads? Um, well, it really started back in 2016 when I was in college just trying to find my way, trying to find something to do. Um, I started off making uh, little desserts like the candy apples, banana pudding shooter, things like that, mm -hmm. um, that would go on the dessert table. And then long after that, I just started getting more inquisitive about, you know, the cuisine world, different things that I can try out. So I started selling food right outside of my grandmother's house. And I knew that this was my passion, so I began to, began to sell um, food every day. And now here we are. So where are you located and what are your hours of operation? We're located at 12985 Northwest 7th Avenue. We're open Wednesday through Sunday. Um, Wednesday we do open from 1 p.m. to 7.30 and every other day is 12.30 to 7 p.m. except Sunday we close at 6. So what is something that makes Treats and Beats stand out in the community? I think one of the things that make it stand out is that we're a Southern Cuisine restaurant in a predominantly Caribbean neighborhood. So I give people the diversity to be able to come and try different things out. I also feel like we're like a blend of the South, but not so South. It's more modern with a twist, so it gives them different um, versatility and options for them to choose from. So what is something that someone should try when visiting Treats and Beats? The first thing that they should try to meet is the fried lamb chops. I think the fried lamb chops is the highlight of the show. If you've never had fried lamb chops, you have to get into it here. I mean, from the fact that it's so tender and juicy and it's glazed in a house-made sweet heat sauce, it's definitely not a miss. Another thing I think that you should try when you come to us is the pudding. We are known as the Pudding Plug. Um, we offer over 40 different flavors of our banana pudding. Um, it's made in-house and it's so decadent and it's so creamy. I mean, it's just the star of the show. I did have the seafood vinaigrette, which was so delicious, and their juices. Oh my God, let's get into the juices. So I'm hearing that they're they're homemade? Yes, so everything that we make here is in store. We don't buy any products that's outside unless it's an actual ingredient that we're gonna utilize ourselves. Um, I'm very, very big on that because I wanna ensure that you know we can have quality control. Okay. Um, our juices are a star of the show as well. Um, we have uh, juices that range from Caribbean Punch, which is kind of like a tropical vibe, Southern Belle, which is your average flop. Um, we have Cold Red, which is a fruit punch, Florida water, which everybody loves. Um, and we also have Star Island, which kind of give you a feel of like a little tropical vibe, but it's more refreshing because it has hints of lychee. So as a business owner, where do you see yourself in the next five years? In the next five years, I would see us at least three to four locations branched out the different parts of Florida and maybe Atlanta. <laughs> All righty. So thank you so much, Andrea, for having us here today at Treats and Beats. Don't forget, guys, during the month of February, we are highlighting Black-owned businesses, Black-owned products, Black-owned services right here in the beautiful city of North Miami. So I will definitely be back at Treats and Beats to try some of that pudding. And I hope you guys come by, too.